So we're sitting here in Greenhof. We saw Harafin conversations with Odin last night. Nice. Let's reflect. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things um, as Joe, a charitable foundation that we really wanted to do in this project and one of the main reasons for working with Forestry Commission England was um, to open up really unique contexts for artists and for audiences. Um, and uh, last night was real was. evidence <laughs> of that. Rafen is a really ambitious project to create a large scale sound installation here in Kielder Forest and bring. 300 people here over several days. It's only really been achievable uh, through the collaboration and cooperation of a lot of agencies and in particular a lot of skilled individuals bringing their particular work to the piece. And for me it's also been a really good personal collaboration because I've got to work with Ian Pate, the producer. What, what we're going to do for the next uh, 45 minutes or so is I'm going to walk you through the whole event. So we'll walk down to the site and on the way I'll tell you a lot more about what it's going to be and what the roles of the volunteers are going to be. Um, I think for Athens, uh, it's an interdisciplinary project so it can be difficult um, to fit it into one category. It has a theatrical aspect to it but it's not a play. It has an audio aspect to it, but it's not a music performance and it's an outdoor event, so it becomes something different again, but it's not your usual outdoor festival. Projects like this, it can be difficult to find support um, and the support that we've had has been unique. It couldn't have happened without it. Good evening. Right, this is the last position before we enter the, the site of the installation, which is just over there in that part of the woods. When we cross this bridge, I'll lead you into the, the site where you can sit down, stand or, or lie, whichever, whatever's comfortable. And over the following 40 minutes, we'll hear the sounds of Chris's installation. I think what was really pleasing for me was the sense in which um, the process of making the piece has really come together along the lines that the artist intended in their yes, proposals. Absolutely. It didn't feel there was any gap between no. what they were trying to achieve and what we actually experienced. They've really made it happen. That vision was absolutely met. <laughs> this is fantastic. After all this effort, this is such a great collaborative piece. I'm stood in the forest, killed a forest by Stonehoff, the middle of the afternoon and we are surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of ravens coming into roost. What may seem very early, but in fact this is the piece it's playing. It's just fantastic, it's exactly as I hope, because it's, the technology is transparent and the sound clarity is astonishing. You, know, you can't help but look up, because overhead you imagine seeing hundreds and hundreds of huge ravens flying into roost in the trees directly overhead. It's got such a great spatial element to it, it's really fantastic. Because I imagined it in my head over a year ago when, we put this, when Ian and I put this proposal together. When we were, we were at Alice Holt on um, Tuesday? Wednesday. Wednesday, um, launching the semiconductor piece, Cosmos. Yes. And that sense of community was really strong there as well with the forest research team, Ruth and Joe, everybody else that's been involved in the production. It felt like such a team effort in the unveiling. Absolutely. And I think a really unusual thing as well, like everyone on that day spoke about um, how, spoke about the strength in having worked across those two organisations, across Forest Research and mm. across the Forestry Commission and um, the role that Semiconductor played in mm. that. We've been working on our new sculpture called Cosmos for about a year and a half now and normally we have been making films and animations but working with, with data and ideas of form and shape and, and ideas of exploring ideas about science and art and so in a way we've, we've gone through the same process but we've ended up with a completely unique different way of, of working. Yeah so in that sense it's really um, pushed our practice, it's a way that we've wanted to work for a long time but it's always quite difficult to move out of a medium that people know you for doing because people come to you wanting you to work in that way. So although we come from a very hands-on background 
and come from making sculptural works maybe 15 or 20 years ago. It's been something we've wanted to do for a long time, so doing Joe Wood Open Forest and making a sculpture in this way has really enabled us to challenge our practice. Um, we've already been receiving requests to apply for other public sculpture projects, which is really interesting, because obviously by working in this way, um, we're giving out a message that this is how we would like to work, we would like to produce more projects in this way. And also through doing this process of actually making the sculpture and developing how we were going to do that, what it was going to be over the past year and a half, it's really enabled us to develop new skills and understand how the process works, working with contractors and fabricators and even installing the work um, and the longevity of the work. So we've had a huge learning experience in terms of that process, something which will definitely enable us to move forward and create sculptural works in a similar, using a similar process again. Mm. So Cosmos has just finished being installed and it feels like the work is now complete. So um, because it's a very site specific piece of work where we've worked with the data from the forest. So now the sculpture is in the forest. It feels like it's kind of come home really. I think that work as well, the sculpture, I mean, Ruth and Joe have never made a sculpture before, mm -hmm. so, you know, the whole process for them has been, you know, very much a different kind of making than they normally experience when they're making their films, but the, again, the work that was there felt so true to the proposal, um, and and so what I was hoping and expecting mm -hmm. to experience, but at the same time, just being in the space with the work, and the way that the work makes the space feel so different it now that it's magic. there and it concentrates everything, but it has a real lightness to it yeah. as well. It just, it really feels like it's come together for yeah. them, which is just fantastic. And again, in common with uh, the realisation of Raffin here, uh, semiconductor spoke about how important it was to begin to work with other people in making their work. So they've never worked with a fabricator before. They've always worked, uh, made all of their own work themselves. So I think for them that was a, mm. a, a hugely beneficial um, opportunity and I think something that they'll carry forward in their work.